bless the stuffed artichoke. What's up, food geeks? Chef Nikki here, back with another episode of Nikki Talks Food. So today, we're gonna make um, stuffed artichokes. I'm starting a series about formidable foods, foods that we pass by in the grocery store that we just don't really pick up because they look too spiky or, you know, they're just not something that you're used to making. So this week is gonna be artichokes. We're gonna cut this guy up. So what we need is a serrated knife and I also use a little paring knife and we're gonna use also a melon baller or what's what it's really called is a Parisian scoop. So uh, we want these uh, artichokes to be kind of flat in the pan. However, in this stem is a lot of really good usable meat. So we're just gonna take a trim off the end, throw that away, and then we're gonna trim down the sides. Trim down the sides of this stem. We uh, will cook it right alongside the artichoke will end up putting it in our filling. Okay, so always also, as you're working with the artichokes, you have to introduce them to citric acid so you can kind of rub a lemon all over it so it doesn't oxidize, it doesn't turn brown like, um, like apples do. Thanks Joyce for the lemon. <laughs> now we have a, a, an artichoke that sits up straight and all we're gonna do now is kind of tear off a few of the outside leaves just to kind of neaten it up. Next thing we're gonna do is we are going to cut around the artichoke and we're just gonna trim off the tips of these, the leaves because they have a little pokey thorn on them and they, they don't feel too good <laughs> when you stab yourself with them, so. They gotta go. So get rid of those little buggers. That's pretty much all of them. We're gonna cut the top off of this sucker anyway, so. Okay, so now we are going to cut the very top off. We're gonna cut a little bit more. And we're trying to expose the actual choke. That's the thistly um, middle part. It's the part that actually it's like a little furry and it's totally inedible. So we are going to spread that guy apart. Yank this right out. Get rid of the fur. Lemon. Lemon all around, we don't want any brown food. Brown vegetables are just gross. We don't wanna have a brown vegetable. All right, so now that we have clean artichokes, all we're gonna do is we're going to uh, roast these in the oven um, with a little bit of stock. So this is chicken stock. Put it all in inside the leaves. We want about an inch of liquid. Next, we want to season the liquid, season our artichokes. And don't skimp on the olive oil. Nice and seasoned. Then all we're gonna do is put a lid on top, roast these in the oven at 350 degrees for about 45 minutes. Okay, so we've roasted our artichokes at 350 degrees for about 45 minutes. You should be able to slide a butter knife through the middle very easily. Okay, so we went ahead and we uh, put the artichokes on a uh, rack, turned them upside down so that we drain out some of the moisture. They're nice and drained now, so now we can go ahead and make our filling. I went ahead and bought store-bought breadcrumbs so they're already seasoned, and I'm gonna add just a little bit of the Pecorino Romano, which is also salty, so we're not gonna add any salt. We're gonna add some capers, try to dry them off a little bit, just for a little bit of um, tartness. Uh, we're gonna do one egg. And then we're gonna add some mozzarella cheese, which is not typical, but I was just feeling kind of in a cheesy mood. So I really wanted to, to add cheese to this, this dish. Uh, we're also gonna top off with a little bit of olive oil because fat is flavor. A 
looks mega. Artichoke water. So we, we saved the um, casserole dish that we cooked the artichokes in. And now, just going to spread the leaves open. My best friend Josh calls these Italian chicken wings. And so now we're going to put our stuffing in the center. Fill that up first. Oh man, this is gonna be so awesome. My grandmother used to make these when I was a little kid. What nine-year-old do you know that eats stuffed artichokes? That is gorgeous. Fill her on up. We're gonna top it off with some more cheese. This is not the traditional way, but you know what? I'm kind of an untraditional gal. These are gonna go into a 375 degree oven for about 20 minutes to get the breadcrumbs all crispy and also to melt our cheese. Um, you can cook them a little bit longer if you want them nice and golden brown on top, but I will meet you guys again in a few minutes. And look at these guys. Oh my God, they don't get more beautiful than this. Thanks for watching guys. If you like my show, please hit subscribe, hit the little bell, leave a comment below, and leave me a thumbs up. I really appreciate all that you guys are doing to watch my show, and thanks so much.